Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today I will start by rectifying the tip of the week that I sent last week. The reason is I assumed that a certain checkbox was no longer available on DNN 7 and DNN 8, but they were there. And I'm gonna just show you that quickly before I jump to this week's tip of the week, which hopefully will be a little bit more precise. So let's be, let me bring up a DNN 8 website and the checkbox is still here. If you go to host, the checkbox that takes the credits away from the source is still here. If you go to, to host, host settings and then scroll down, go to appearance. So it is here, show copyright credits. So, so sorry about that, but, but that checkbox is not available on DNN 9, so the tip stands and you can use the script to fix that show credit line on DNN 9. Going now to the tip of the week, of this week, I keep focusing more and more on the things that are, that were on DNN 9 on, and on DNN 7, but are not on DNN 9 for some reason, maybe because they didn't port them yet, the Corp didn't port the, the, the options yet, or maybe because it was left, you know, outside completely and they will never come back. And with the introduction of prompts, I would assume that a lot of settings will be, you know, will, won't be showing up anymore in the UI just to avoid making the UI too crowded and they might be available via command line with something like prompt. But tip of the week today is about pop-ups. If you open a DNN, and I will, I'll do that in a second. If you if you go to DNN 7 and DNN 8, you, you have a checkbox, and I'm talking again about a checkbox that disappeared. You have a checkbox that will allow you to enable or disable pop-ups like the login pop-up, the registration pop-up. Instead, it may just redirect to a page. So not a pop-up, but a page. Now, that setting is not visible on DNN 9 anymore, but it is still available behind the scenes via direct access to the database. If you if you know how to mess around with the database, you're going to be able to reach that. And that's what I'll be showing on this video here. But before we go to the DNN tip of the week, I want to bring our sponsor. This time around, I am your sponsor. DeskPaul is your sponsor. DeskPaul is my company and we focus on supporting our clients on with their DNN websites. It's hard for me to do an ad on my own company because I would be bragging about myself and oh, that's that does sound right, you know, but I just want to leave you knowing that we work with DNN day in, day out all day long, that's what we do, that's what we have been doing for over eight years now. And that I translate that to, to, to my team as well. That's what we do day in, day out. We help our clients with problems, with support. We pretty much become their DNN wingman. So if you have any problems, if you need support, if you need help with your existing DNN site or maybe a new site, reach out to us, deskpal.com. We can help you with your DNN needs. That's it. Okay, so first let me show you what I'm referring to. Here I have a DNN 9.1 loaded. And if I click login, you're gonna see the pop-up. If I click register, you're gonna see a pop-up. So that is the pop-up or at least two pop-ups that I'm referring to. You have the same on DNN 8. I have both DNN 8 and DNN 9 loaded here so I can demonstrate that. And if I open now the DNN 8 website on, on with super user access, I can go easily to admin site settings. Then I can go to advanced settings, scroll down and go to usability settings. And there is an option that says enable pop-ups, which I can easily uncheck that. Now, this is no longer here on DNN 9. Uh, it may come back, it may not, I don't know, but how can we disable pop-ups on DNN 9 if there's no interface? Well, as I said, we can do that directly on the database. So 
the way to do that is we can go to the settings and then SQL console. We're going to mess around a little bit with the database. First, because this is a site level setting, which can could be find uh, previously under site settings, we, we assume that this is a setting that is stored on the portal settings table. So I'm just going to no, just to have a look, I'm going to select everything from the portal settings table. And here's what we have. If we scroll down, we're going to see enable pop-ups. And by default, it is set to true. So what do we have to do? Just set that to false. I'm just going to run a... And by the way, we have to keep in mind the portal ID as well. If you just have one portal, most likely it is portal zero but I'm just mentioning that because it might be relevant in case you have main portals or in case your portal is not portal zero. By the way, you can, you can quickly see that if you go to manage sites and you can see all the sites on your DNN instance and you can see the site ID. So this is what I, I'm referring to portal zero. So let's go back there to the SQL console and I'm going to replace this SQL which, by the way, you can all you can find all the SQL statements that I'm running here on the video notes. So I'm going to update the portals table. I'm going to set the setting value to false, where setting name is enable pop-ups and portal equals to zero in my case here and in most of your cases out there. But again, be mindful about this as well. So I can run the script. Once I do that, it's not... I mean, you, you might not be able to see it right away because that value is cached. So you may want to go to settings, servers, and then click on clear cache to make sure that things are working there. And now if I flip back to the other browser where I have it loaded, but I'm not logged in. If I refresh this and click login, you see now it is a page no longer. It, it's no longer a pop up. The same thing goes to register. Now, those are not the only two pop-ups that this affects. If you switch the page, any page to edit mode, and if you try to go to, for, for instance, module settings, then you will no longer see the module settings in a pop-up either. It will be redirecting to a separate page. If you try to do, to edit the text, on the HTML module as well. It's no longer a pop-up, it goes to a separate page. So that's what enable pop-up does. It not only affects the registration, but it also, also the login, logout, registration, and the pop-ups in general throughout the website. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.